Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Alan. I'm out here getting some stuff cut out for this little Santa Maria attachment. This is kind of a, the base of it. It's just a small rectangular shape. What I'm doing here, you could just put together with a flat bar. But I just wanted to cut it out of a, a bigger piece to give it a cleaner look. I'm just using a straight edge to cut it all out with the HTP plasma. I always leave tabs in. That's why I'm cut, starting at the center and then going back to the top. I leave tabs in the middle of it. Then after it cools, I cut it out with a grinder. Probably not necessary, but I think I'll do it more out of habit than anything. I've got most of the stuff already cut out for this thing. The small pieces put together and everything already. Here I'm just trying to get a lip put around it. It'll sit inside of a stone uh, setup. And it just needs to sit on the top of it, the same as uh, the attachment for the 22 inch rubber grill wood. I did this piece a few years ago, well, about two and a half years ago, and it's just been sitting around, so I'm gonna use it now. Really, the only reason I had done it at the time was to see how much trouble that would be to round that over like that. And it comes out looking real good, but it is a lot of trouble to do it. It's time consuming is what it is. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and use that since it fits. Just gonna notch it in and fit it right there. Just getting the legs notched out right here so that it'll fit down in there. I'll add a little piece to the bottom of them at the end that the rack sits on. It would hang there anyway, but it just makes it a little more stable if it has somewhere to sit. That top part is really just notching out the tubing and folding it over, folding it over until you get it where you want it. And then you, for the ends, you have to kind of manipulate it a little bit. So it comes out with a good look to it. This is all just the rod set up. using the spacer on the ends to get it set the same. That almost threw me, because normally I use a spacer between that and the and the top piece that's flat. And there wasn't much left room, much room left on the ends to use a spacer. This little round piece, it's just where the, uh, where the little latch goes into. 
spring latch. I already had my little wheels made up. Had almost everything ready to go on this. Just needed to put it together. And here you can't really see it, but this is the slides that's holding it there going up and down. It's kind of a two piece setup that you have to put together. Really the small parts on these are the most time consuming thing of them. Of all the Santa Marie grills, it's the small parts to get you. And that's pretty much it except for painting it. Like I say, it'll just sit on top of that stone structure. It don't have a body or anything. All right, I got it painted up and everything ready to go. It comes out looking real good with that rounded top on there. I like that. It's not a huge uh, grill, but it's, it was built for what he already had, the place he had to put it in. So anyway, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe, and y'all come back for the next one.